No more manual scheduling. I just built an AI agent in Copilot Studio that's gonna handle all of that for us. Okay guys, so here's our scheduling assistant. Our description here is that uh, it is an assistant that's finding our availability and it schedules our meetings for us. Uh, so this assistant also has control of our to-do list uh, and can pull that at any time for us. The idea here is that we can ask the assistant to schedule in meetings. Uh, it can go and find our availability in our camera and book that meeting in and send it to the either customer or client or colleague. So a couple things about this, we can take a quick look at the instructions. Uh, I won't go over them in detail. Uh, I will copy them into the school community if you guys want it. It's easy as copying and pasting it in here and, and adding your tools and knowledge sources. Um, but basically, you know, there's a little bit of conversion that we have to do for the time zones whenever we're sending our calendar invites. So that's switching it to PST from UTC as the default for the, the tenant. Uh, it's got a couple of different uh, tools available to it. So the pull to-do list items for today. Uh, this is where it's going into CRM and looking at our activities list and giving us our to-do list uh, in a summary. Uh, check calendar availability. So this is using our Microsoft Outlook tool. Um, going and finding uh, our availability for the week or the day uh, that we request for a meeting. Then we have our send meeting invites. So send meeting invites, this is where it's actually able to go and send that directly to the customer. Of course, it needs to plug in a uh, contact email address, and that's coming from the CRM uh, using our CRM connector tool. And of course, our CRM connector tool is this one here. So get contact email address. It's going into the Dataverse or the CRM finding that contact, pulling the associated email and slapping it on the meeting. So our knowledge sources are listed below, uh, not using a ton here, but we are plugged into our CRM environment. So that's activities, contacts, and accounts uh, that the system can go and look at, uh, particular for contacts and activities in this case, because if we're asking for an email address and sending a meeting invite to somebody, it's gonna go and look them up by name and pull their email address in for the invite. And a couple of tools that we're using here. So we're using the create event uh, from Outlook, as well as get event from Outlook. So it's able to go and look at our calendar, identify open times, and then send that meeting invite to them with the Teams link included. No triggers right now, so this is gonna be task-based. We're gonna be triggering it with a dictation tool. Uh, so being able to talk to it and tell it to go and schedule a meeting. And let's take a look at how it works. So I've just opened up the activity map in Copilot Studio. This is gonna allow us to test it and see the different steps that it's taking along the way. I just wanna show you this before I show you where I've actually embedded it in Teams and in Copilot. Uh, where I can actually just talk to the agent and have it work automatically without me having to type. Um, so for this example, I'm gonna type this out. So we wanna book a meeting uh, with one of our contacts. Uh, so let me go and do that. So I've just typed in here, book a meeting with Connor McDavid at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and press send. There it's gonna go and search our knowledge sources. So it's looking in CRM right now for the contact Connor McDavid and the associated email address. There it is, you can see that it's pulled the name and email address. Now it's going and it's creating an event. And you can see that my output here is that you can view the meeting details here. Uh, so it's given us a link to the meeting. And if you need any further assistance, feel free to let them know. So another aspect of this assistant is the ability to go and pull your to-do list from CRM. Um, that's a fairly easy one. So I've asked it what is my, on my to-do list today. And here you can see it searching the knowledge sources. So it's looking at activities here. And here you can see that it's pulled in uh, my activity for the day. So I need to follow up on pricing with John. And here's the due date, July 25th, 25. So uh, it just gives you and helps you organize your tasks for the day and the week. And then for the final step, we're looking at embedding it into Teams itself so we can talk to it. Uh, you can do so just by selecting channels here uh, and loading up Teams in Microsoft Copilot. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a couple different download links. Uh, so you can either see Agent in Microsoft 365 or the C Agent in Teams. Uh, either one really works. Um, these links you can, of course, send to others uh, so they can download it within your organization. And then finally, right within Teams, I've embedded the agent. Um, so all you have to do here, you can see that I've had past conversations with this agent already. Talk to it, we can pull up our uh, Windows Dictator and we can go ahead and record. I'd like to book a meeting with Connor McDavid at one o'clock on Monday and we can send. Uh, you'll see that I accidentally included some of the uh, conversation that wasn't supposed to go in there, but now you can see that this meeting uh, with Connor McDavid has been successfully scheduled for Monday at one. And of course we can view the event here. And here you can see the meeting invite to Connor McDavid. Um, so pretty cool system. Uh, it's gonna go and allow you to uh, schedule in things very, very easily. Uh, no more kind of sorting through your calendar. Uh, it's as simple as just talking to your personal assistant and teams 
uh, it's going to go and do that for you. Okay, to show everybody just how easy it is to go and make this agent, uh, I'll do it on the call here. So all we need to do is go new agent. Uh, it's going to pop open our, our prompt capabilities. Uh, we're just going to skip to configure in the top right here. Uh, we can call it agent six for this example. Uh, and let's just go and create that right now. Now, a couple things we need to do setup wise. Um, so if I scroll down, of course, we need to add our knowledge sources. Um, so this can be anything like if you have your contact stored in the SharePoint list um, or anything like that, you can add it here. Uh, in this case, I was using my CRM environment. Um, so that's the Dataverse. I'll select Dataverse and it's gonna allow me to go and pull in uh, different areas of the uh, Dataverse. So I'm gonna go contacts, accounts, and activities. And we're gonna go and add that to the agent. Once that's done, we can scroll down to tools and we're gonna go and add our Microsoft Outlook tools. So we can select Office 365 Outlook here. Uh, and then we're gonna go and add create event. So that's the ability to actually go and create the meetings. And we're gonna go add and configure. There is something that we need to change here. Uh, so if you don't make this change, uh, it's not gonna work. Um, there's a couple things that need to happen. So the calendar ID, uh, if you don't change this, the agent's gonna ask every single time what calendar you want it to use. Um, so we wanna go custom value here. Uh, we wanna add in just the calendar. And then the other thing we need to do is make sure that it has the ability to go and add in our attendees. Um, so in this case, we don't have that as an input. Um, so we're going to go and add an input and we're going to go required attendees. That's going to allow our system to go and automatically input that email address that it pulls from whatever knowledge source we're using, in this case, CRM. So let's go save. Okay, and then the other tool we need to add is the uh, Outlook tool to go and check our calendar's availability. Um, so a couple things here, we need to go and add our get events. And again, let's go add and configure because again, it's looking at uh, calendar ID and it doesn't necessarily know what calendar it's looking at. We need to set that. So it's going to be custom value and we're going to change it to calendar and select save. Okay. And then one final step, uh, probably the most important step that we have here is we need to go and enter in our instructions. So I'm just going to copy and paste the ones that I've already created into the agent. Once I've pasted them in there, I'm going to go and select save. These instructions are going to be available in our free school community. Feel free to hop over there. Uh, join the community. It's going to be a great place where we can collaborate on Copilot Studio builds and different AI agents. Um, and obviously you'll get a ton of free cool stuff like these instructions. And just like that, we're set up. So all we need to do at this point is publish the agent. So let's go and do that. And then the final thing to actually get it live is to flip over to channels here and add it to our Teams and Microsoft Copilot channels. You're going to want to make sure that this stays checked off uh, so we can make this agent available in Copilot. And then let's go add channel. Now we have our agent here ready for deployment. Um, we can do it in either Microsoft 365 or Teams like we did before. Uh, so if we go and we select Microsoft 365, uh, it's gonna ask you to sign in. Once you're signed in, uh, you're gonna have the ability to go and add in this agent. Um, so we can just select add. Uh, if you want to send this agent to anybody uh, within your organization, you can do so just by copying the link and sending it across to them. And they'll get a similar installation ad. Now, the first time, I just want to mention the first time that you use this agent, it's going to ask you to authenticate in uh, using your Microsoft credentials. Um, that's very important. It's just going to happen on the first time. So it has access to uh, whether it's, you know, your knowledge sources or uh, your Outlook calendar, it can go in there and make changes. Um, so just important to note, nothing out of the ordinary, you will see that authentication button pop up. There you go. Now you should have a fully operational scheduling assistant. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, hit that like button. I would appreciate any support I could get. And if you're curious as to why I'm using Microsoft Copilot Studio instead of something like N8N or Make, please check out my last video. It has some pretty good information on that. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.